Hey YouTube, Free and Kel again. So we've just left Marlborough uh, Caravan and Motel and I was still thinking about that plant, that purple plant that we saw out the back. And quite a few years ago I was working at a um, retirement village in Western Australia or in Perth. Might as well say Perth, Western Australia, because there's a Perth in Tasmania as well. And um, the young kids used to tag or graffiti the, the main entrance um, brick wall, so the, um, the, the landscape gardeners decided to put plants with these large thorns, which was the same plant. And then I, I just sort of, it came to me what the what the name of the plant was and I should have thought of it it was nice and easy um, one of the one of the gardeners used to say we'll stop these bogans putting graffiti all over the wall we'll put a bogenvillea up on the up on the walls because they've got big, sp big spikes so yeah that's what the plant is a bogenvillea they come in purples and reds and oranges and that as well. So that's what the plant's called, a bougainvillea. Um, so don't mess with nature because that, that plant will come back and bite you with a large spike. So we're heading 230 k's north towards Mackay or as I say, Mackay. Mackie. Mackie. Um, M-A-C-K-A-Y. North Queensland. You nearly want to do the Mickey Mouse song when you spell it out like that. M-A-C-K-A-Y. <laughs> have showers because I genuinely like cold showers however this morning it was cold and I was actually wanting a warm shower that was you know 
just off the temperature of being cold so I wasn't really that thrilled when all of a sudden it turned to ice in the middle of a warm shower <laughs> but weren't you, weren't you pleased to come out and have a warm cup of coffee I Wait was it was perfect yes I, I know what you want <laughs> so um, at the moment epilepsy I suppose these trees and the light flickering on this side of me um, would do your head in? Well not really because I had it coming around the front so it wasn't heaps bad. No I know but if I, if I, had, if I was one that was prone but to Bree, But Bree years ago was driving with some friends Yeah and you can tell that story. Yeah, um, I was driving, driving with a friend, and she she said, "Oh, I, I think I'm going to." Um, and her friend was the driver, mind you. Yeah, she was driving a V8 Holden Commodore. It was like a club sport. Um, in peak hour traffic, um, I was the passenger. Her partner had just gotten out of hospital after a heart transplant um, after multiple heart attacks um, and the driver went into a, a fit behind the, behind the steering wheel doing 100 kilometers an hour and that would have been brought on by the trees and it was the, the, the trees flickering um, as the sun was going down and I just said take your foot off the accelerator um, which she did was that just before um, she went into a fit? went into the fit um, I just grabbed onto the steering wheel so she could let go of the steering wheel um, I asked her her partner just to hold on to her head to hold it hold her head as much as possible to keep it calm and straight and we just pulled the vehicle over to the shoulder shoulder um, bay training area well, I had the hazard lights on the car come to a stop we um Break on. I ran around to the driver's side. We eventually waited for her to come to a still position. We moved her to the back seat. Um, she's one that doesn't like medical treatment, so we drove her home. And then she came out of it and she <laughs> She wondered why she was in the back seat because she did. She had no idea what, what had happened. Um, pretty scary stuff. Pretty scary stuff. Um, but she wasn't supposed. Well, yeah, she wasn't supposed to drive because her partner was her carer, but she was the one that was. Um, I don't think her partner had a license or could drive. Yeah. I don't think her partner could drive at all, actually. Yeah. So. I didn't know at the time that she had epilepsy. Um, well, that's one way to find out. But yeah, she just said, "Oh, uh oh," and I went, "What do you mean, oh uh oh?" And she said, oh, "I'm going, to, I'm going to have a fit because I've got epilepsy." I went, well, "What are you doing driving?" Well, somebody had to um, drive the car to go and see my partner in hospital. driver, I've got a car, you could have taken my car. But it's a beautiful Sunday for a beautiful Sunday drive today. 